Welcome back, Officers of the Public. Your course on Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines. Video idea 3v3. Fuck, I have the thing open. We're going in. We got Calvin Awesome. We're talking poor people 3v3 off meta counters. We got into a long debate whether off meta counters even exist for normal people. Do they, Calvin? Quick synopsis. Also, that depends very much on what you can Too many words. Give me five or less words. Do they exist? Yes, kind of, sort of. Okay. You had two words to spare. Very efficient. Very, very, very free to play of you. Very efficient. I like that, Calvin. I appreciate that. Um, These teams look kind of stupid. I'm not going to lie. But hear me out. There is some very, 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 very extremely unimaginably minuscule amount of brain power put into these. Um, any immediate questions from the mind of a free-to-play monster, Calvin, at these three things that you're looking at on the screen? Uh, why is Qui-Gon Jinn alone? Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn is alone because I cannot stand people with 9 million GP saying Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron fell off when literally you can have him at like gear oh, nine no. with with the Omicron. Exactly. Thank you, Calvin. Let me let me finish. You know what I did with Qui-Gon Jinn this last season? Win battles on defense? I used him to two-shot Malgus three times. And these were Malgus exactly. with Omicrons. Exactly. He blew up Darth Jin. Revan and Trey cleaned up the rest. Still number two Omicron, in my opinion. But anyway, the point is, when you're poor, and by poor, I mean sub-4 million GP, because the game starts at 4 million GP now. It's a new level 85. The Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron, even if he's not Relic 3 for the JMK requirements, you throw any Jedi on him, you're likely, if you're... 1.5 to 4 million GP, you likely have at least a Relic 5, Relic 3, Jedi Anakin. You would be surprised at what you can kill with just having the Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron. I know my face is covering him, so you're not looking at his beautiful, beautiful face. But when you're poor, Normal. down and out, and desperate, sometimes all you need is a stat boost. Speaking of stat boosts, Zam Wessel. Now, this is going to be a reverse off meta counter. Do you know what that means? Calvin, are you are you up to up to date on AP Gains made up lingo? It means it only beats bad teams. No, it means we place it on defense <laughs> because we're reverse off metaing. We're re we're reverse engineering good teams. Wouldn't that be like defense on de off metaing? No, it's reverse because that I'm sounds terms, cooler. AP. It sounds cooler if it's reverse than if it's defense. Because no one pays attention to defense. They're like, what are my off-meta offensive counters? I want to be GLs, and I don't have any good characters. Why well, I want to be GLs. That's what they sound like, Calvin. Did you know that? Did you know that's exactly what I've reversed what a lot of times with my car, and I've never felt cool doing it. Okay, fair enough. But anyway, um, even at 5.5, I'm not going to lie. This is, a, this is a Van Seal recommended team, so I guess take this with a grain of salt. But this okay. is quite possibly the most annoying team. Though. They're not R9. They're R3 and R5 and R5. And they don't even need to be this much. It's basically the Zam Wessel Omicron plus a crap ton of debuffs plus Bosk Leadership Zeta. And what this does for poor people is it looks so innocent. There's no offense. How could I possibly lose to this? But nay. But nay. They don't die. They piss you off. They apply tenacity down. They blow you up. Even if you do when they take their banners. And it only involves a useless character, a character that isn't super great in 3v3 and Bosk. RIP the Bounty Hunters. They died, gone, but not forgotten in 3v3. And then the greatest Omicron on God's green earth, Calvin. Did you know that? I'm not the best get, Omicron on God's green earth? Not to be religious or anything, but it's the greatest. And then the greatest team of all time. It's not actually the greatest team of all time. Watch, let me make this little amendment here. This is a little throwback, Calvin. Do you know what a throwback is? I'm pretty sure it's a beverage. No, it's it's a motion with the hips and the waist and the buttocks. But anyway, this is a throwback to my old favorite 3v3 team of all time. This is pre-me having Darth Revan, pre-me really having relics, if I'm being honest. EP lead <laughs> with Bastila Sean Fallen and Thrawn used to be the goaded... 3v3 off meta counter for all of eternity of course sadly rest in peace once more uh basilis sean fallen she has to go with darth revan if you don't have it but let's say you're extra poor what is extra poor let's define terms calvin if poor means sub 4 million games. gp yes true but what is what do you think is extra poor 
I'm guessing sub two mil. Exactly, Calvin. Awesome. That's why you're awesome. And you don't have Darth Revan for whatever reason. You can obviously substitute Basil Sean in here instead of Mara Jade. But this team beats I'm not gonna lie. And I think you can agree with this. I know you I know you don't have any low GP accounts, Calvin Awesome, but from a conceptual level, can you see why this would beat a lot of stuff? Obviously you can, but I want you to explain it. I can see it beating a lot of stuff on defense, especially if you have Mar to go super fast because she has enough debuffs, even in 3v3, to almost loop back with turn meter. And then the entire team just gets stuck at a standstill. I'm actually curious, why do you have Thrawn in there? Thrawn's in there because this is, like we, we define terms, poor is sub 4 million, extra poor is sub 2 million GP. When you're extra poor, you only have like a couple of relict characters, if we're being honest. Like you could maybe have like 10 if you're 2 million GP, maybe 11. But if you're extra poor, you're scrapping to survive. And Thrawn doesn't really have a home for a lot of people these days. I know this. I know endgame players hate like, oh, Thrawn, he's number one on all top five most plug-and-play characters for all of 2019 and 2018 and 2020 and 2021 and 2022. But Thrawn doesn't get used you're that much. Born, then. I wasn't even born. <laughs> I was born in 2022, unfortunately, or 2020, whenever I was born. I don't know. I'm young. Um... But, like, Thrawn doesn't really have a home for a lot of people. And he's in here literally just to pass turns and to fracture whoever is the most annoying because he's a generally quick character, even though since you're extra poor, you don't have good mods. And when you don't have good mods, generally faster characters like Thrawn happen to be slightly better than they would be. Um, and since it's 3v3, fracturing one person is fracturing a third of their team, which is quite helpful. Plus a little bit of, a little bit of spicy banner recovery in there. Just... For shits and gigs, Calvin. Any complaints? Right, that's really nice too, because Mara helps build her and Emperor Palpatine's max protection, which is cool and all, but they have no way to regain it on their own. So Thrawn does kind of add that to the team. Yeah. And I think the great thing about this is like assuming you're either poor or extra poor, I I'm just like I'm just gonna use those as like terms now. Like I'm just gonna assume that everyone understands exactly what I mean when I say that from now on. And people are gonna get I did mad define at me. the terms today. So we did we did define really terms. Watch this video. Exactly. We defined if they don't, terms. that's kinda on them. It is on them. Reddit, I hate you. Go <laughs> I'm not even gonna make hey, a joke. This is mutual. They wouldn't they wouldn't understand it if I did make a joke. They'd be like, Oh I can't believe he said that he's why is he Anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna give myself an aneurysm. This team like can honestly be like gear eight and do the exact same thing it would do at gear 12 if we're being honest it, this is one of those teams that solely relies on synergy same thing with this little boss team and honestly qui-gon too if we're being honest like these teams are good not because of stats not because of relics these teams are good just because of how they work so if you're poor or extra poor give them a try do you want to give us a bonus stab in the dark i'll even create a nude squad on the cuff right now as someone with like damn near 9 million gp calvin Give me a off the cuff raw dog extra poor or maybe even extra 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 poor three v three team that people aren't talking about. I so I don't know if people aren't talking about it, but one that I've loved for a really stinking long time is you said Newt, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're talking about GL Newt. I thought you were. Did you say new? I thought you said Newt. I said new, but sure, Newt works too, I guess. Yeah, Newt's really good. I mean, even at my I I haven't taken him off my defense yet. I'm not at the highest level, but we're we're getting up there. So Newt. Django and actually Magna. That is kind of my preferred comp. Not B1? Damn, Reddit's gonna no, be dude, extra, they, they, extra they just mad. shred through him instantly. I know. I don't I never understood why everyone's like B1, B1, he'll he'll give recovery. B1 just die. Uh B B1's kind of okay if you're trying to beat qui gon Jinn on offense because he like can't die instantly because yeah. even if Jedi Anakin gets really ticked off. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, for defense, I like this comp just because it's a, it's it's kind of annoying to get through. You even if Magna isn't taunting, Newt's going to end up in stealth and Django's in damage immunity, so you're going to have to get stuck behind him anyways. And then when you hit him, he counters and he actually is taunting, so that way when they're out of those things, it kind of sucks. Ooh, someone's saying Poggle lead Django Droidica. I think that actually is one of my 3v3 teams. I think what... Let yeah, me so actually if you're, if you're If you're in a strapped roster, like you don't... Ha you need to make more teams. It, Poggle lead gives a buttload of offense to separatist teams and you know droidica droidica really just wants raw offense he does mm -hmm. a lot of true damage so it ends up going a long ways especially because poggle has yeah he has offense in his leadership wow you have a higher relic droidica than i do i this is what i got for saying you're poor i have a gear 12 droidica i mean 
I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I do have regular communication with Capital Games via my wallet phone, so I'm not trying to brag. Yeah, but they I do like those. Over forty five thousand dollars on this game in the last year alone. I'm not trying to, you know, make you feel bad or anything, but kind of trying to make you feel bad. Yeah, everyone always like, why do you have a Relic Five Jordica? The answer is I have no idea. I honestly don't know. I think I there did. There's a really for big craze for him because of the gas event, but it was like super unnecessary. Yeah, it is super unnecessary. I think I did it because like I didn't have more than one like C pit team back in the day, and like the closest I had was like General Grievous. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get an extra Relic Five team for the C pit raid, and I never use it. Obviously, you're so smart, AP. Yeah, I know. Um. I tell myself that all the time. And honestly, I'm enough, right? I don't need anyone else to tell me I'm smart. I know nope. it's not true, but I tell myself that. And honestly, if you believe the lie, it becomes true. And that's how AP Games was made. I mean, not really. AP Games was made, you know, I I'm sure you can use your imagination and guess how I was actually made. But thank you, Calvin, for just screaming at the void with me for 10 minutes. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, man. I love being in the void. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend, and all that sort of good stuff, right? Yep. Isn't it so much better doing AP Games videos where, like, literally zero effort needs to be put in? You just kind of, like, scream and make a little bit of sense? I'm like the Andrew Tate do... of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It's, like, just nonsense, <laughs> I... and then, like, one thing that people are like, okay, that's maybe. I feel like there are probably some better examples, but sure. What would you say? What, what, give me an example. I, I, I favor, I'm not going that much in the right direction, but I probably favor Joe Rogan. Like, you get you get kind of a lot of bit of nonsense, but you still get, like, some nuggets of stuff that is super useful. I mean, spicy nuggets are back, so nuggets are my I do main like spicy nuggets. They're so good, dude. Give me a 30-second dissertation on why spicy nuggets are the greatest thing on the McDonald's menu, and then we'll end the video. Um, They're like regular nuggets, except better. Very efficient as well. Not even 30 seconds. That was about f six words. They are like regular nuggets. Keep it short. Keep it better. sweet. Hey. All right. Um, subscribe so that my ego gets bigger. Bye-bye.